some kind of sanctions against that place until they make they make some type of change. You can't take the vertebrae out of your back just to fit inside of someone's ceiling. Mm -hmm. You have to stand up full and proud, stand up. The entertainment industry is abuzz with rumors swirling around two prominent figures, Tyler Perry and Terrence Howard, as they find themselves at the epicenter of the latest Hollywood controversy. Speculation suggests that Terrence Howard is poised to unveil significant revelations about Tyler Perry, sparking anticipation of potential size shifts within the entertainment world. At the heart of this unfolding drama lies a contentious issue that has ignited debates and stirred passions. The portrayal of black men in dresses in movies and TV shows. Terrence Howard has emerged as a vocal critic of this industry practice, decrying what he perceives as a concerted effort to erode traditional masculinity, particularly among black actors. In pointing fingers at Tyler Perry, Howard accuses him of spearheading this alleged agenda, asserting that Hollywood's insistence on casting black men in dress roles perpetuates harmful stereotypes and undermines their dignity. Howard's stance resonates with other notable voices in the industry, including comedians like Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams, who have also spoken out against this trend. However, Howard's dissatisfaction extends beyond the roles themselves. He is equally troubled by the repercussions he has faced for challenging the status quo. Reports of him being labeled as difficult to work with for refusing to don a dress for a role underscore the industry's resistance to change and its readiness to marginalize those who resist conformity. As tensions escalate and anticipation mounts, Terrence Howard's impending revelations promise to shed light on what he believes to be a damaging practice deeply entrenched within the entertainment industry. Despite the rumors and speculation, Howard appears resolute in his determination to confront this issue head-on, signaling that this Hollywood drama may be far from over. With the prospect of Howard considering quitting acting altogether due to his disillusionment with the industry, the stakes have never been higher, catapulting this controversy into the spotlight and prompting a deeper examination of the complex dynamics at play. Terrence Howard, a respected figure in Hollywood renowned for his impressive acting skills, has found himself embroiled in a heated debate surrounding the portrayal of black men in dresses in the entertainment industry. Howard's stance on this contentious issue is unequivocal. He adamantly opposes what he perceives as a systematic effort to undermine traditional masculinity, particularly among black actors, and he has singled out Tyler Perry as a central figure in perpetuating this phenomenon. At the core of Howard's dissatisfaction is the belief that Hollywood's insistence on casting black men in dress roles not only reinforces harmful stereotypes, but also poses a threat to the dignity and authenticity of black performers. He argues that such portrayals not only limit the range of roles available to black actors, but also perpetuate damaging narratives that diminish their worth and agency. Howard's vocal opposition to this practice is not without consequence. Reports of him being labeled as difficult to work with for refusing to conform to industry expectations highlight the challenges faced by those who dare to challenge the status quo. Despite the potential backlash, Howard remains steadfast in his resolve to confront this issue head-on, signaling a willingness to risk his own career in order to bring attention to what he views as a damaging and discriminatory practice within the entertainment industry. As tensions continue to mount and anticipation builds surrounding Howard's impending revelations, his stance on this issue serves as a rallying cry for greater accountability and representation within Hollywood. By refusing to stay silent in the face of injustice, Howard is not only challenging the industry to reckon with its own biases, but also paving the way for a more inclusive and equitable future for black performers in Hollywood and beyond. The entertainment industry, often seen as a bastion of creativity and artistic expression, has come under scrutiny for its role in perpetuating harmful stereotypes and expectations, particularly when it comes to the portrayal of black men. Terrence Howard's vocal opposition to the industry pressure to conform to these stereotypes has brought to light the systemic challenges faced by black actors in Hollywood. Reports of Howard being branded as difficult to work with for refusing to comply with demands to wear dresses for roles underscore the pervasive nature of these expectations. The industry's insistence on casting black men in emasculating roles not only limits their opportunities for nuanced and authentic portrayals, but also perpetuates damaging narratives that undermine their dignity and self-worth. Moreover, the backlash faced by Howard for speaking out against these practices highlights the risks involved in challenging the status quo. Despite his considerable talent and contributions to the industry, Howard's refusal to compromise his principles has made him a target of criticism and ostracism, further illustrating the entrenched nature of these harmful norms within Hollywood. As Howard prepares to take a stand against what he perceives as a damaging industry agenda, the industry at large faces a reckoning with its own biases and prejudices. The pressure to conform to narrow and limiting portrayals not only stifles artistic creativity, but also perpetuates harmful stereotypes that have far-reaching consequences for black performers and audiences alike. 
By shedding light on the industry pressure and backlash faced by black actors like himself, Howard's advocacy serves as a catalyst for much-needed change within Hollywood. His willingness to confront these issues head-on sends a powerful message that the status quo is no longer acceptable and that true progress can only be achieved through greater diversity, representation, and inclusivity in all aspects of the entertainment industry. The issue of black men wearing dresses in Hollywood productions is not new. Comedians like Eddie Griffin and Dave Chappelle have previously spoken out about being pressured to don dresses for roles, raising questions about the industry's motives and the impact on performers' careers and self-image. Tyler Perry's success with his Medea character has been both celebrated and criticized. While Perry defends his choice to wear dresses as a creative decision, Howard and others see it as contributing to a harmful trend that pressures black actors to conform to certain roles to achieve success in the industry. Various comedians and actors, including Dave Chappelle, Martin Lawrence, and Kevin Hart, have shared their experiences with being pressured to wear dresses for roles. These anecdotes shed light on the complexities of navigating Hollywood's expectations and the challenges of maintaining authenticity in the face of industry pressure. Kevin Hart's career trajectory has been marked by both acclaim and controversy, particularly concerning his stance on maintaining his personal brand integrity in the face of industry pressures. However, his unexpected decision to wear a dress during a skit on Saturday Night Live ignited a firestorm of debate and speculation about the compromises black comedians face in Hollywood. Prior to this incident, Hart had been vocal about his commitment to staying true to himself and his values adamantly rejecting the notion of wearing dresses for film roles. His principled stance resonated with many fans who admired his unwavering dedication to authenticity in his work. However, Hart's decision to don a dress on SNL raised questions about whether he had succumbed to industry pressure or strategic calculations aimed at furthering his career. Speculation swirled that Hart's choice may have been influenced by influential figures like Tyler Perry, known for his cross-dressing role as Medea, who purportedly advised him that wearing a dress could lead to greater fame and success. Critics and fans alike voiced disappointment and skepticism accusing Hart of compromising his principles for short-term gains. The incident underscored the broader issue of black comedians feeling compelled to conform to certain expectations within the industry, even if it meant sacrificing their authenticity and integrity. Moreover, Hart's controversial decision reignited long-standing tensions with fellow comedian Cat Williams, who had previously criticized Hart's rapid rise to fame and questioned the authenticity of his success. Williams' critiques, coupled with Hart's perceived deviation from his earlier stance on dress-wearing roles, fueled speculation about the true motives behind Hart's career choices. Ultimately, Hart's decision to wear a dress on SNL sparked a broader conversation about the pressures and compromises faced by black comedians in Hollywood. It shed light on the complexities of navigating an industry fraught with systemic biases and expectations, prompting introspection and debate about the paths to success in entertainment. The interpersonal dynamics within Hollywood, especially concerning the pressure on black actors to conform to certain roles and expectations, have sparked intense debate and scrutiny. One of the central figures in this discourse is Martin Lawrence, who allegedly approached fellow comedian Cat Williams with a proposition to wear a dress for the sequel to Big Mama's House. Williams' recounting of the encounter sheds light on the complexities of navigating relationships and career opportunities within the industry. Despite their friendship and mutual respect in comedy, Lawrence's request put Williams in a challenging position, prompting him to question the authenticity and motivations behind such roles. This incident underscores the delicate balance between personal integrity and professional opportunities that black actors often face in Hollywood. Williams' refusal to comply with Lawrence's request highlights the importance of staying true to one's principles, even at the risk of jeopardizing relationships and potential career advancements. Furthermore, Williams' skepticism about Lawrence's motives and the prevalence of dress-wearing roles among black comedians hint at deeper systemic issues within the industry. It raises questions about whether such roles are perceived as a rite of passage or a means to demonstrate compliance with industry norms and expectations. Moreover, the tension between Williams and Lawrence reflects broader tensions within the entertainment industry, where success and recognition often come at the expense of authenticity and artistic integrity. It underscores the challenges faced by black artists in asserting their identity and resisting pressures to conform to stereotypical portrayals. Overall, the interpersonal dynamics highlighted by Williams' anecdote offer a glimpse into the complexities of navigating relationships and opportunities within Hollywood, particularly for Black actors grappling with issues of representation and authenticity. It serves as a reminder of the importance of staying true to oneself in an industry rife with pressures and expectations. Terrence Howard's personal life, marked by legal troubles and domestic violence allegations, adds complexity to his public stance against Hollywood norms. Despite his own controversies, Howard has shown solidarity with fellow actors like Monique, who have faced discrimination and mistreatment in the industry. The controversy surrounding black men wearing dresses in Hollywood productions reflects broader issues of representation, power dynamics, and authenticity within the entertainment industry. Terrence Howard's willingness to challenge industry norms and stand up for his beliefs signals a potential shift in attitudes toward traditional gender roles and stereotypes. As discussions continue, it's essential to 
consider the personal, historical, and systemic factors at play in shaping Hollywood's cultural landscape. 